Hey everyone and welcome back and what a week we've had as Milan fans. This is um, not a great one either. Obviously we got the great result against Atletico Madrid. Um, went away from home, got the 1-0 win there. When, to be honest, I didn't really bank on it. I didn't really give us any any hope of getting through this group stage, getting a result away from home. And now all of a sudden we are there. We have got one game left in the competition. Obviously a lot of things have to go our way. We have to get the result at home against Liverpool. And obviously we've got to hope things go away in the um, in the other fixture with Atletico and Porto. Um, that was great. That was fantastic. You know, Gini Macias getting his first goal for Milan. You know, obviously a lot of things about him. Maybe none of us really gave him any hope of being a Milan quality player. But he scored and it was his moment and fantastic for him. Um, and I was hoping this was going to really spiral into a convincing result against us Swallow on the weekend. And that wasn't to be, was it? Um I just don't. I just can't really put my finger on what the hell is going wrong with the mental side of the game, um, with our with our squad, with our team, and look. And people can pinpoint individuals for that performance against us. Swallow the three one loss that we had at home. People can blame players like Bakayoko and Kessi and Borromagnoli and even here and blame on Salome because even though he wasn't actually directly involved with any of the goals we conceded. Um, I think everyone's to blame. Everyone is to blame with, with games like that. You know, people on the attacking end, including Salamakers, if you want to throw them in as well, because I know everyone loves to. Um, defensively, the midfield, you know, no one had a good game. No one can come out of that fixture and say, I played well. I played above a 6 out of 10 performance. Um, and that comes down to the mental approach. And I, quite honestly, I'm just... It's really... It's got getting past the point of concern. It's getting to the more to the point of aggravation because it's sort of, why aren't you taking these games seriously? Like as a, as a team, like I said last week, every game should be a final. Why aren't you taking it serious enough to play a hunt? You know, hundred percent. I know it's hard. We play games every three days, three four days now. So mentally, it's hard to stay switched on, especially after a game like Atletico Madrid. But where's that mental approach? Because that's really the difference right now. From you know, a couple of points dropped. I just dread the thought to come towards the end of the season. Um, that if we could potentially be in a title hunt, these are the games where we stupidly drop, you know, drop points. Um, yeah, just I just really don't have a lot to say upon that fixture other than just complete disappointment because we haven't lost the game out of quality. Um, like I said about the Fiorentina one, this isn't a game lost out of quality. This is a game lost out of bad mistakes on both ends of the pitch, especially in defensive phases. Um, but even attack as well, just wasteful and, and lacking ideas. Um, players just not really playing well. Ibra needs to stay on side. You know, he probably gets like six, seven offsides a game. But I'm not going to... I don't want to pinpoint anymore. Everyone was bad. Brian Diaz, Liao didn't have the best of games despite having a whole week off. Salamakers, Bakayoko, Benesir. Everyone was bad in the game. Um, so I'm just really hoping that the coach has his time going to the Genoa and the Salernitana game, which are two easy games on paper now. He needs to get those plays switched on because it's, it's not... The next game that we have to win is the game after that and the game after that. Of course, you take it a game at a time, but every game you take at a time has to be as serious as the one that preceded it and the one that goes after that. It's We just need to be switched on. And that's, and that's kind of like what I thought we were as a club. Um, and I still think we are. I just think we're just going through this blip that get back the identity, that killer instinct identity. Take every game seriously. Take no game for granted. So I'm hoping we can turn this, turn this ship around. But... That's not really what we're talking about today, even though I've just had a little spiel there about the game. I just kind of want to get that off my chest. What we're going to talk about today is a, um, an interview that Maldini's just recently done with Sky, um, talking about potentially the January transfer market, renewals, and all that sort of stuff. So um, if you haven't already, maybe have a little look in the description, go on to Semper Milan website, have a little, little read through the, uh, through the article. It's a short interview, but it's just covering a massive topic. So yeah, that massive topic is a January transfer window. I've made videos recently in the last couple of weeks about targets we could be going after, um, especially in certain positions which we all know we need depth in, or more well, like good quality. And I only say depth, just better quality on the attacking end of the scale. Um, and this is hopefully a right winger or attacking midfielder to rotate with Brian Diaz. Um, and, and, and targets I've looked at is players like Roman Fibra. Um I don't know. I, Maybe, maybe as a fan, the least of things I expect is one player to come in and just, just one. I just don't really care about, everyone's really like, oh, should we get another left back? Should we get another centre mid? I just wanted that one player coming in. And Maldini's words coming out are saying is that we're fine as we are. Um, this squad is competitive enough. It's it's an interesting choice of words. Um, I, don't, I don't think fans are going to like hearing it. Um, I think the players are. Like the players currently at the squad are going to like to hear that. And this is probably why he's gone down that route. 
because obviously we know we've got two back-to-back losses in the league. What players don't really want to hear is, oh, you know, I know I need to buy players in January because this team isn't competitive. That's not going to help them because we've still got a month of month worth of fixtures, you know, five, six, seven games until January hits. Um, and plus even the time it takes to get a transfer done going into January, which would be more games. If players at the club right now do not want to hear that they're not good enough or, you know, oh, we need a right winger. So basically Salamakers, Macias, Castillo and Florenzi, you're all crap. And we all know that we need a better right <laughs> the, the guy can't come out and say that. I get that approach, but there's a fine line also when you're playing with the fans and, and um, not so much playing, it's more the fans have a level of expectation and right now, currently, and, and the performance is probably not the best thing to come out with. I'd rather he just said nothing at all. Um, that's probably what I'm trying to get at and, and allude to um, because I, I've, I've, I've heard this all before, this whole fine as we are, um, it just it's Galliani, man. This is Galliani. They, these are his key words. If opportunities arises, then we'll then we'll snatch upon them. Parameter zero, and you know, it, I've heard it all before. This is this is Galliani talk. Um, so I'm hoping this is kind of him channeling his Galliani, taking the heat down on signings, even players that we've been linked with, like Roman Fiver, who's coming out and done interviews himself to say how he wants to join Milan. Take the heat off those transfers. Get us to January and then maybe sneak a few through the door. That would be great. But I do I do find his words about saying we're competitive and that's quite interesting because, like, what are we competitive for? And that's what comes down to maybe us as fans, ex- levels of ex- expectations, or the clubs. And I think the clubs has always been top four. I don't think they've ever come out at the start of the season and said we're going to go and win the league. Obviously, they always say that, look, if we're in and around there halfway through the season... You know, competing in the top two positions, a uh, small point gap between us and first place, whatever it might be, like similar to last year, um, halfway through, three quarters through, then we're going for it. We have to go for it because mathematically we are. But I don't think they want to ever hamper the the expectations on the, on the club or on the coach without actually seeing a long-term consistency from the club. Um, but us as fans get excited about it. Um, I thought going into the season, when you really compare us to the competition, you know, Inter weaken themselves, Juventus run a decline. I feel like we're better than Roma, Atalanta, Lazio, and then just Napoli have had an incredible year. But I kind of thought we're better than them as well, especially when it comes to squad depth. Um, I feel like we should be competing for the league when we are competing for the league. Um, so why not sort of go into that? So it's kind of like, what are we, what does he say? What does he mean when we say we're competitive enough? We've got a deep squad. I have to say, we have got a deep squad and people might not like when I say that because it's like, oh, we know where we're weak in certain positions. Of course we are. But when I say deep, I mean numerically deep. We have a huge squad, especially considering that we might go out of the Champions League in a couple of weeks time. And all of a sudden we're only in basically the Coppa Italia and the Serie A with a squad of like 25 to 30 people. It's a massive squad. Um, and I think adding players without actually selling them isn't going to really help things and, and it's going to make you know people just be excess to requirements rot on the bench financially that's not good because we're playing players who actually have no involvement in the squad yes we might sell Castillo but we're not going to cancel uh, Florenzi's loan deal we're not going to cancel Macias's loan deal we're not going to cancel Bakayoko's loan deal Pellegrini's loan deal Maldini worked hard to get them through the door you know the massive transfer window in the summer why is he going to cancel all these loan deals and we, you've got it to be realistic he's not going to do that so I get what he's saying, like numerically we're competitive, but I just think us as fans really want to see there's one position I think we're just short at, and that is that sort of attacking right winger to come in. And it would be a it would be a damn shame if um you know we're in and around there halfway through the season, three quarters away for the season, and that lack of a player on that right side doesn't come in and and um and that hampers us when it comes to the attacking phases of the game. But really, we're not even suffering from that right now. So that's, that's, and I think kind of that's where I kind of agree with Maldini. We're not suffering from lack of scoring goals or anything like that. Um, it just comes down to that that mental that mental rate and um, you know taking games for granted. We didn't lose the game, you know the best teams in Serie A. We lost to mid table opposition like Fiorentina and Sassuolo. So I get what he means when he says we're competitive because really when you compare it to the rest of the league, we are. And, you know, Rebic will probably come back in January and that will feel like a new signing. And we all know how good his second half of the season form is. Um, but it's just one of them ones where, like, you are really kind of just... Uh, 
it could have we've all seen and done this before we saw it last season if we just kind of just brought in another attacker or another striker we could we have gone for the league especially with Ibra going out I just hate to think this is going to happen all over again and it's going to be one of them ones where it's going to fall on Maldini Shonas saying that we could have won the league if you just brought a right winger in um and yeah, that's that's all really we're going to be talking about today. I'll just maybe give your thoughts about the Maldini, Maldini interview. Um, do you think about Ray's right way saying? Do you think he's kind of like saying it with a pinch of salt and kind of like lying through his teeth and saying like, you know, you can't actually say the truth and he is going to go for players in January? Do you think he's actually being completely honest? Uh, put it in the comment section below, guys. But what we do know is, is that we're not in January. We know we've got the next game against Genoa. That's, and then the game after that, Salernitana. We have to pick up some wins because we have to get this momentum back we have to be you know we have to be rack up points we can't be dropping points to these weak sides so um no offense to them anyway bye but anyway guys until next time forza milan